Business Suit Gaming with another video today and today I'm doing the Slash Corporate tutorial for the Ultimate Command Block Tutorial 3.0 series part 4. So uh, we're just going to start here by um, making an objective. So first I just, because I've already had it, so the... To make an objective, you're going to need to do scoreboard, objectives, add, then the name of the scoreboard you want. So the name you want it to display, then the type of scoreboard, which is total kill count, spelled with those capitals, that is really important. And then the um, the name you want to use in the command blocks. It is. So we're just going to add the objective here. And if we want to remove an objective at any time, it's just scoreboard, objectives, remove the name of the objective. So we can just remove it, but we're going to need it, so we're going to add it back. So, next we got list objectives. So, this scoreboard objectives list basically allows you to have it list off all the objectives you have. Um, I would recommend doing this one in the description, so that you get this nice list of all the objectives you have. Which are trigger stats, thingy, total kills and stuff. I'm really bad at scoreboard names. But we're going to focus on the total kills. Next we're going to set its display to the sidebar, so that we can see in the sidebar how many uh, total kills each player has. You can do that by doing scoreboard objectives, set display, sidebar total kills, you can also set display list and below name. Below name means it will display below their name when you actually see the player, and list means it will display um, to the right of their name when you press tab in a server. So we're just going to set the display to sidebar. Now you can't see anything yet because I don't actually have any total kills. So if I just grab a sword right here and a, let's just kill a wolf. And I just kill this wolf, you see I get one kill. And yeah, that's pretty simple. You can also set a player score using scoreboard players set at a total kills 10. You can also use a name or at P or at E or at R, all that stuff. But we're just going to do at A and this just sets my score to 10. And you can also add to their score, so this is going to add 1 total kills to my score. Scoreboard players add at a total kills 1. And I can just keep adding 1 to my score. And uh, if, you do remove, if you do remove instead of add, it will remove one of my score. You can also just remove a lot at a time. Just remove all 11 of my points or remove or just give myself 100. Oh so, yeah, that's pretty great stuff. And then you can also reset a uh, scoreboard scoreboard objective for a player. So this is going to reset my total kill count. Players, scoreboard players reset at a total kills. And now I just have zero again and it doesn't display anymore. Next is players list. Uh, scoreboard players list at a. What basically, if we just execute that right here, because this is just like the other one. It's more useful when you do it in chat like this. And it only shows one player on the scoreboard, which is Sentinel-6, which is me. In the server, it would list off all the people that are actually on the scoreboard and participating and all that stuff. So, yeah, that's also really useful. And this one uh, we actually used for the tell world trigger in the first one, which is scoreboard players enable at a trigger. So this is just going to enable to use the, that scoreboard uh, for that tell world command. And if you want to know more about the tell world command, Check out the first part, I explained it there. Um, next is players test. So scoreboard players test uh, at a total kills 515. So this is basically um, gonna test if my score is between 5 and 15. So if I test this right now, well, it's not gonna do anything because 5 and 15, I have zero. So we're just gonna use the set here to set it to 10, which is between 5 and 15. Pretty logical, and as you can see, it came out positive and the comparator turned on. Pretty great stuff. Uh, next is player's operation. So, this is a bit of a long one. Scoreboard player's operation, Sentinel-6. Thingy is Sentinel-6 total kills. So, basically what this is going to test is, it's going to test if my Thingy score is the same as my total kill score. And let's just test it, and there isn't actually a comparator. Or no, it's gonna... No, yeah, it turns on, because uh, if we just uh, go scoreboard, objectives, set display, sidebar, thingy. Maybe you can see my thingy is also 10, so 
and if I were to scoreboard players set Sentinel six. Oh wait, thingy uh, nine, and I test again. Sorry, my mistake. It doesn't test for it. It makes it so. So. If I want two scores to be the same, if I want to have the same thingy score as I have total kill score, you use this command to give to make my thingy score the same as my total kills. So my thingy score is my total kills. So yeah, sorry for the little mistake there. Next is scoreboard team. So there's actually a really easy way to create teams. Uh, first, we're going to create a team. Scoreboard teams add awesome team awesome. So basically... Um, this is just gonna add team awesome so yeah if you wanna know the exact syntax for that you can go scoreboard teams add and that's plus enter and as you can see it asks for a name and a display name so the name of the team is awesome in the command blocks but it displays as team awesome so yeah next is we can also remove team awesome by do using scoreboard teams remove awesome and it will remove the team but we're gonna need it so Next is we can join uh, the team. We can make anyone join the team with this command scoreboard teams. Join awesome at B, at A, or a name, doesn't matter. And you can just let someone join the game, uh, the join the team. You can also, with uh, teams leave, you can also have them leave the team. Now I'm no longer in the team, but let's just join up again. Uh, next, we can also empty the team. So this is scoreboard teams empty awesome. If I press this, all players will be removed from team awesome. So if there were 20 players in team awesome it will remove them all from the team next is teams list scoreboard teams list will basically just list off all of the teams that you have active in your game at this moment we have got team awesome and team sentinels we'll get the team sentinels later i think or it might be just be one i made for no reason at all so next is uh, teams options so you can set a few options for your team you can set friendly fire if you want that if you want uh, them to be able to damage their team or not and um, this is gonna set that to false so anyone in team awesome I cannot hurt or do any damage to which is really useful next is uh, team option C friendly invisibles so you can do C friendly invisibles set this to true uh, a lot of servers uh, in the server you might be able to use this to have spectators see each other because then if you are in the same team and you're invisible, you can still see each other but if you put this to true. Uh, next is name tag visibility. So this basically sets name tag visibility for your team. So if you see their name tags or not. So this can um, make it so that you only see the name tags of your team and not of other teams. Next is teams option dead message visibility. So that message visibility has a few options. I did hide for other teams so that only you see them. So basically, if we just take over this command, paste it in here. If you want to know all of the options, just paste it in here. Remove that, put a slash in front of it and just do this and it will give you all the options. And so that message visibility is always, never, hide for other teams and hide for own team. So if you want them, if you want it to be there always, never, uh, to hide it for other teams or to hide it for your own team are the options. Also, you can change the uh, name tag color of the player team. So this is going to set it to blue. So my name tag will now be blue if I type in chat. It should be in blue, but for some reason I might not be in Team Awesome because I emptied it. So let's just join Team Awesome again. As you can see, my name in the scoreboard is blue. If I type in chat, it's blue. And you can also do like uh, red, basic colors. And uh, yeah, now it's red. And black. And yeah, that is basically the slash scoreboard command. How to make teams... How to configure the teams and how to make scoreboard objectives it's really useful for a lot of things hope you uh hope this tutorial helped you and i will see you guys in part five which is over here and it's the slash stats stats command which goes together with slash scoreboard so i would recommend watching both i'll see you guys in the next video